The World Boxing Super Series has finally come to an end with undefeated WBA champion Richard Progre taking on undefeated IBF champion Josh Taylor. Tap in. They know when I was down, now they see I bounce back. Bounce back. Now they yawn and they feel it. Hey. My partner told me, King, don't worry about that. Nah. Said it's time to make a killing. Yeah. It's a new day, getting new money, but I don't f with new new. I'm just sticking to the business and the money is the mission. About to stack it to the ceiling. Now they all in their feelings. So you're mad, bro. Now they all in their feelings. Tell me what you're all in their feelings. All in their feelings. So you're mad. Now they all in their feelings. Tell me what you're all in their feelings. All in their feelings. It's a new day. They all in their feelings. But I got them all in their feelings. All in their feelings. Now they all in their feelings. Fight fans. Man, I just watched an amazing fight. Welcome back. It's your boy King. King Boxing Talk. Checking in as you follow through, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can get the notifications for all new videos that we drop on the channel. Straight to it, we just got a, a, a great fight. The World Boxing Super Series final, the final of the World Boxing Super Series. It saw two undefeated champions, the number one versus the number two in the division, in the junior welterweight division, number one versus number two. Undefeated WBA champion Regis Progre versus undefeated IBF champion Josh Taylor. And it was a barn burner. It was a barn burner. So just to get straight to it, uh, Josh Taylor, he edges out a majority decision on the scorecards. He is now the unified. Uh, basically, he, he's the man right now at the junior welterweight division. You know, he's a unified champ. He now holds the WBA and the WBF. Uh, with, you know, after getting a, a majority decision over Re Regis Progre. A little on the fight, you know, through the first six rounds, I, I really thought, I, I, through the first six rounds, I even went to Facebook and I was like, you know, through the first six rounds, I see Josh Taylor controlling this fight. And, you know, I that's just what it was. Josh Taylor stood strong. He stood tall. And he, he didn't waver off his post. He... he he, he was constantly walking forward. He, he boxed very well off the front foot. And I think his size and his length and his height, he made it difficult for Regis Progre. Um, as, like I said, Josh Taylor, he just all, the, the whole fight, he just put his body weight on Regis Progre. It made it very difficult. He kept his jab out there, you know. And I thought uh, Regis Progre landed some very good shots. And, in, and even though I say through the first six rounds, Josh Taylor was controlling the fight, it was still very competitive. I Through the six rounds, I still had it even. And then going to uh, to the 12th round, the fight was close. It was close. It, it really could have went either way. Uh, I believe the, the first card was, the, ver the first score card was 114-114. A draw, the second card was 115-112. Uh, 115 113 I believe and then the last card the last card 117 112 I don't know what that judge is watching because that 117 112 card I think that was you know I think that was a bit wide it was a very close fight however I'm not upset with the decision I was going I was pulling for Regis Progre I thought Regis Progre would um I didn't do a fight prediction but if I would have done a fight prediction I would have predicted Regis Progre to stop this fight uh, before the 11th round, I actually put some money on it, so I lost some money. Um, but you know, again, I'm not mad with the decision because we got a great fight. You know, this is a win for boxing. This is a win for boxing fans. It was it was that good of a fight. Uh, both of the both of the boys, they look like they've been through a war. Uh, Regis Progre, he was bleeding out the nose. Josh Taylor, uh, huge cut over his eye. His eye was swollen shut. But really, I, I don't understand how Taylor was able to get away with throwing so many punches after the bell and, and I don't mean like it was a one-time thing where he threw a lot of punches I mean it was like five different rounds where he punched after the bell no soft touches I'm talking clean solid shots after the bell at least five different times at the end of five different rounds and you know he never received so much as a warning but again, you know, um, I take my hats off to both of these guys, man. It was it was a great fight. Josh Taylor, he's now the unified champion at 140 pounds. He calls out Jose Ramirez, who is the other unified champion. He has the WBC and the uh, WBO. So 
you know, it, it um, we're, we're that we're another step closer to seeing undisputed. Uh, hopefully, Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez, they're able to get that fight made and get it made pretty soon. Uh, but until next time, K-I-N-G, I'm about to go watch some more boxing because Showtime has a card that's coming on. Uh, Erickson Lubin's fighting in the main event. You also got Robert Easter Jr. Uh, fighting Adrian Garnados on that card. And then after that, you also have the ESPN Plus card, where Shakur Stevenson is getting his first title shot against Joey Gonzalez. So... Until next time, I'm going to watch some more boxing. K-I-N-G, I'm gone.